What's up everyone, it's Ed from Bar Stars, and today this video is going to be on the update on my shoulder injury. Now, uh, hopefully you guys seen the first video, if you didn't, it'll be linked in this video. You guys go check that out. I talk about uh, how I was rehabbing my shoulder, the different procedures along with the rehab exercises, the low intensity exercises, uh, what I was taking, uh, and the uh, different techniques. So, that was maybe two months ago, or maybe even more. So since then... I actually kept going on with that procedure and kind of slowed down actually uh, as far as different uh, mechanisms to make my arm feel better. I just kind of got, I don't know if lazy would be the word or just out of the habit. So I still kept up with the rehab exercises that I do with the band, but I just did it a lot less often. I didn't do it daily anymore. I completely stopped yoga, Pilates. Um, I stopped taking all the supplements. They all ran out. And uh, massages from my girlfriend and uh, physical therapist uh, visits also stopped. So I kind of just chilled out. And I've actually been at a very good point. So I actually did uh, improve a lot. Although I did see the, the level of improvement kind of stagnate. I was still able to do multiple pull-ups. And it only bothered me when I went to really, really high rep range. I'm talking about well over 100 pull-ups. Maybe even higher up. Even maybe up to when I got to like 200. And then I would still be able to do chin-ups. So I just had to switch the, the grip. I felt pretty good with every other exercise. I still avoided muscle-ups. I didn't really test it. I avoided it. I would hit one or two here and there and I have no pain. Then I would say uh, if I did dips and I leaned too much forward, as I would like to do because it puts more pressure on the chest. And also it's a kind of a progression I use to get better at the planche. I would feel it then. So I had to take that exercise out. Um, sometimes generally going into the planche or the front lever, uh, the progressions, I was practicing the tuck because I lost so much strength through the injury. I felt uh, discomfort, but I wouldn't describe it as pain, but it definitely limited the time I was able to stay in the progression. But that was pretty much how I've been for the last couple weeks since that video. Now, this last week, I actually uh, started training. It got warm in New York. If you guys are on the Upper East Coast, or you ex we experience a lot of warmth. And uh, I started training with my friends again. And as you guys know, training with your friends, you get hype and you get uh, amped. And we come up with these really hard routines. So as we're going through these hard routines and, and you kind of don't want to be the guy to say, I'm going to stop. And I, I go through it and I, I tell you guys to so listen to what I say, not what I do. But of course, I, I tell myself to stop. But even the moment I tell myself to stop before uh, my shoulder feels hurt. I'm already engaged and I, I kind of, I'm in too deep already. So maybe the last two or three workouts involved a lot of muscle ups and my shoulder actually felt pretty bad again. Uh, it kind of felt like, like uh, all the week's progress was uh, kind of erased. This kept going for like two or three days. I went to the local masseuse in my area, which is really affordably priced. And uh, I asked for the strongest person there and I asked for a really rough massage. I told him that. Uh, only I got a whole hour massage and only focused on this area and at the time my tricep was kind of sore the guy kind of really went in on my lap and uh, I feel like there's a, a point where your scapula or in your shoulder plate you feel it actually right here so my injury I'm not really sure I don't even think it's a rotator cuff injury I think it's one of the fibers that stretch from the chest into the shoulder and it's about right here is where I feel the pain Although I, I did follow all the procedures as if it was a rotator cuff, it could be both. Um, I, I, don't, I don't really think it's the rotator cuff, even though the rotator cuff procedures helped me out with uh, the difficulty I had. So the guy gave me this massage and I felt back to, like today, I feel, I feel pretty good right before, like right when the progress stagnated. So I, I feel like, actually I might even feel better. I feel like I could hit a... A lot of pull-ups, I feel like I could go through the progressions of the planche and the progressions of the front lever. The only thing I'm going to avoid is muscle-ups. I feel like muscle-ups keep aggravating it, especially when I think I'm fine and I go to it. So I might put off muscle-ups for a long time. One of the questions I thought I got were, uh, do you think you should stop muscle-ups because uh, muscle-ups are dangerous? I don't think muscle-ups are dangerous. Before this injury, I've done muscle-ups for seven years. And the only problem I had with the muscle-up before this is uh if you guys seen the video where i did 21 muscle ups i chicken winged the last couple ones and that gave me a shoulder pain nothing like what i have today 
And it was something that was going within a week. Besides that, I never really had a problem. And the other problems I've heard from other people have been from the chicken wing muscle-ups only. That's literally the only problems I heard. So if you avoid chicken wing muscle-ups, uh, I think you'll be fine with the muscle-up. And uh, again, my injury initially didn't occur with a, a muscle-up. Or at least I don't think so. I actually know, don't know exactly what was my injury caused by. But uh, if, you ha if you've seen the video, you see what I think and the most likely culprit of what caused my injury. All right, so fast forward, uh, a company seen that video and decided to send me their product for me to test it out and review it on camera. And uh, you guys get to see me try it for the first time, but also uh, one winner of this contest gets a free one, which is dope. Um, so you, to enter, you gotta like the video, comment, subscribe, and the comment, I want you guys to comment how Bar Stars impacted your life. So keep that in mind. How Bar Stars impacted your life, like the video and subscribe, and we're gonna pick one of you guys to win one of these special kits. So this is uh, this kit builds on, uh, if you've seen the last video, you've seen that I'm a big fan of the Graston technique and, uh, or, and a different bunch of others. But the Graston is kind of like you take a, a metal instrument and you rub it back and forth causing, causing some, uh, it looks like light rashes. A lot of YouTubers made these videos where they have these red things, these red uh, leisures. It looks like a rash, but it's really just bringing blood up to the skin. Um, so it's a similar uh, technique as that. It's not, they don't call it Graston, they call it uh, something ancient Chinese. I'll get the name when I'm unboxing it and I'll tell you guys. But uh, yeah, they sent me this product because they seen the video and they thought it would be a, a good fit. And I actually was really excited to try it. So this is a, a paid endorsement, but I only took the product uh, under the clause that I could give my honest review. So if it sucks, I'll tell you it sucks. And if I like it, I'll tell you I like it. But you're only getting 100% honesty and I don't want you to buy it uh, if I tell you to buy it or whatever the case. I want you guys to hear the information I provide and make your own decision. All right, so let's get to the point you guys want to see. Unboxing and the free gift. So they actually sent me two products. The first one is the Curve. It's made of stone and they do not recommend sharing it with friends or family as it is porous and fragile. It's the cheaper one of the two. The next one is Echo. It's made of stainless steel. This one can be shared. It's not as fragile because it's made of steel. It has a built-in grip so it doesn't get slippery when there's oil on it. They are both used in the same exact way. So the black one that you see now is the Curve. The spray bottle and the small container contains the muscle warming balm. And finally the silver one is the Echo. So here's a sped up video of my girlfriend doing the treatment on me. It starts with you applying the muscle warming balm on the area you plan on doing the treatment on. You then grab the tool you plan on using to scrape down on the tissue towards the direction of the heart. Now you are not supposed to go back and forth. When the motion is done, you lift up and go again. Now I've seen some people get really bad marks. But a couple physical therapists have told me that this is not the goal. You're not pressing super hard, but also not super soft. Somewhere in the middle. You should be red at the end of this though. The method is called Gu Sha, and it's Chinese. The ancient method of doing this was with a coin. A lot of Vietnamese people still practice this, and it's closely related to cupping. So let me read you what they have on their website before I add in my thoughts. The company is called Sidekick. Sidekick's tools are designed to break down the scar tissue and adhesions under the skin. This improves blood flow around the area and consequently your muscles and joints feel looser, lighter and more fluid. So I'm doing this audio a couple days after I shot the video. My back feels kind of sensitive, kind of feels like a sunburn. Now we purposely went a bit harder on the back to make sure to have a cool picture. If you look at the end of the video when she was done, my back wasn't really that red, so we went back to do even more until it came out red. But the front part of my shoulder feels good, which is where we used a moderate amount, which was uh, what was suggested. They have a video on their YouTube channel on what you should do for shoulder pain, and it focused a lot on the back. Now I know applying pressure alleviated pain for me 
when it comes to massages. And I fell a bit here, but not as much. So I decided to try and mimic what a physical therapist had done to me. He made me rotate my arm while he went back and forth over the particular part I had pain at. And this felt pretty good. Now, here are my thoughts from that day. All right, guys, just got done with the treatment. This is the first time I've used this. But again, I experienced very similar stuff with the grasp technique. So I came inclined as a fan. I found it uh, easy to use. I liked it. Um, but I would suggest you try the grasping technique or, or the technique that's mentioned that this is based on before you buy it just to make sure that it's something that you like and you find beneficial. I came today with a shoulder that I was feeling already much better from the last massage I had. But this also helped me feel uh, good. Uh, it's not just you waving the stick back and forth. I think you have to really learn the method. Uh, I think the company does a good job of pro uh, providing a PDF and a YouTube channel on how to use it. Hopefully they upload even more videos because I know they have a couple. And uh, I just don't know how consistent their videos are going to be. But I think if they uploaded a lot of videos, which you could just buy the product and then learn from them, you guys could go for it. Now, I've also heard of people using uh, metal spoons or butter knives to mimic the grasping technique. If you go on Amazon and look up the grasping technique tools, they're really expensive. So uh, I don't know if you guys might look at this and see uh, that it's an expensive price, but I could assure you the other instruments that are in the same class are just as expensive or even more. Because I know after I got the grasping, I actually thought uh, my girlfriend had offered to learn. So I was looking at buying the tools and uh, the whole kit was just uh, kind of expensive. So this came out in handy. It came in perfect timing. Um, yeah, so I think it's a good tool if you could afford it and if you take some time to learn. If you don't plan, if you plan on it, they're going to work for you, then it's not worth the purchase because uh, there is some learning involved to this and you can't just go wiggle waggle. Uh, you shouldn't be concerned with the red rashes. That's just your blood coming up. Um, so it's like sending a signal to your body that this is where you're injured and you should come help out. Uh, again, you guys comment, you guys get this. Well, the winner, the winner gets this will be one person. This was sent to me uh, additionally, but it is not going away as a prize. This might actually be the better version. I tried both of them. This one felt a lot better. It's a lot heavier. They're both heavy. This one looks light, but just to show you, it's a heavy piece of equipment. But I did like this one better. And the spray that comes with it is also better because it's a spray, whereas the other one's more of a cream. I think that's it. Uh, I've touched everything. There's a link down below. Uh, it is an affiliate link. I do earn a commission if you purchase through that link. But again, I, would, I don't want you buying anything without you doing research. I want you guys to research it and make sure it's something that looks like it could fit what you want and your intended goals. And if it's not that, Please don't go nowhere near it because I want it to be something that fits you and that you guys can use it as a tool. I definitely will be using it. And uh, if you guys are really interested, I can give you an update because this was my first time using it and I was impressed and I liked it. But uh, I, I guess to have a, a true evaluation, you have to wait for long term. But as of today, I liked it. I expect to use it more often. Uh, my girlfriend plans on helping me out. And that's it. Comment down below how Bar Stars helped you in your life. Like the video and subscribe, and the winner gets one. Peace. May you guys all recover fast, and thank you guys for asking how I've been doing. I really, truly appreciate it. And when you guys come by the Instagram page and wish me love and everything, thank you. It shows uh, how strong the connection is beyond just making videos every week. Peace.